In the United States, there are two types of nuclear reactors, a boiling water reactor and a pressurized water reactor. The boiling water reactor works by actually boiling the water in the reactor pressure vessel and sending the steam to the turbine to generate electricity, which is used to power our homes and businesses. A pressurized water reactor is different in that the water never boils in the pressure vessel. The hot water is used to generate steam in a steam generator, which then sends the steam to the turbines to power the turbine to create electricity. In both cases, though, the steam has to be recondensed back to water um, to be reused. Now, there are two ways to do that. One is with a cooling tower, and the other is with a large body of water like an ocean or a lake. The facility you see here, which has three reactors in the foreground and a cooling tower in the background, uses both um, modes. So the cooling tower in the background with steam coming out of it is one, and the river is the second mode of condensing the steam from the turbine back to water. In a nuclear reactor, there's the core. The core is comprised of nuclear fuel assemblies. For a boiling water reactor, it's 600 to 800 nuclear fuel assemblies. For a pressurized water reactor, it's 200 to 250. Inside the nuclear fuel assemblies, there's uranium dioxide and or plutonium dioxide. That has an active height of about 144 inches. The uranium and the plutonium fission to create heat. Fission is a neutron hitting the atom, splitting it into two pieces, generating two fission products, and heat. The heat is removed from the fuel elements with the water that's in the core. The water flows past and through the fuel assemblies to remove the heat and create steam. The reaction, the fission reaction, is controlled with either control blades or control rods depending on the design. The control blades and control rods are used to shut down the reactor during normal operation, control the process, and to shut down the reactor in an emergency situation. In a nuclear reactor, there are three primary barriers to radiation release. The first is the fuel assembly. Um, the zircaloy rods around the fuel protect um, from the release of radioactive material. The second is the pressure vessel, which surrounds the core. That also prevents the release of radioactive material. The third is the containment structure surrounding the entire reactor. The containment structure prevents the uncontrolled release of radioactive material from the reactor. Now, the entire structure is designed to withstand a multitude of natural disasters, including tornado, earthquake, fire, flood, tsunami, um, hurricanes as well, and the storm surge associated with those facilities. Uh, and the facility, to give you an idea of some of the design things that we incorporate, the picture shown here um, has picture of a building that contains a diesel generator. The intake structure for the diesel generator, where the air comes in to supply the diesel, is raised above ground at about 25 to 30 feet off to protect it from any storm surge that might occur from a hurricane, for example. The uh, surrounding equipment at ground level is non-essential to maintaining the ability to safely shut down the facility.